you this morning, we meet a woman who's making a mark by inspiring young people to be the best versions of themselves. And she's doing it through the same group that pushed her as a child. This is a community that's not just um, all talk. They put their time and investment into young people. A student becomes the teacher. And in this chair, I continue to see where the community does that. Reagan Johnson was in middle school when she joined Alternatives, a nonprofit developing Hampton Roads youth for nearly 50 years. You didn't have to be the most athletic. You didn't have to be the you know, top of the class in grades. It was for all kids. Two decades later, she's on her third year as the group's executive director. We invest at a young age in middle school and giving them a voice and leadership opportunities and showing them that as a young person, you can make a contribution to your community. Under Johnson's lead, the nonprofit has launched a childhood obesity prevention program and a mindfulness curriculum for elementary and middle schools. As we have seen even last year, the issues change. And so we have to change with that and say to our young people, tell us how you're thinking, you know, how you're feeling about this. What are your ideas on this? The group also empowers young people to fight for social justice. We don't pick the issue for them. They pick. And then it's that youth adult partnership that we bring that helps them to implement these things in the community. Looking back and paying it forward, Johnson says she's helping to build up the community where she grew up. We're still giving young people opportunities to develop themselves as leaders, to talk to city officials and school board members and other adults and offer solutions in their voice. And that's what it's really all about. Alternatives is based in Hampton. Its programs are free for children and families. The nonprofit also recently released a guidebook to help parents and families support their students.